Jessica again, and this is part two of my humongous December giant haul. This one I'm going to show the different subscription boxes that I've got this month other than like my Ipsy and BoxyCharm which was in a different video. Um, so let's dig right in. So this one is the Cozy Mug which I feel like I just got one from the Cozy Mug but I realized that was November and I think I just filmed it later than usual um, because like I felt like the next week I got another one. I'm like what? And this is the true December one. I don't remember if I called that last one November or December but this is the December one. So, digging in, there's, I just love this. Um, okay, it says, we know that November box was our Christmas box, but everyone loved it so much, we sold them all, that while our December box isn't our Christmas box, we've decided to mix our winter and Christmas themes together. So enjoy a sort of second Christmas box as winter takes over and we all do our best to try and stay warm. A warm cup of tea from this month's selection should do the trick. Our December teas are provided by Sterling Tea. It's a woman owned and based in... Uh, a woman-owned company and based in Rockwall, Texas. So, oh, I'm already excited. Ooh, so this is the Sterling Tea Red Tea in Lemon Velvet, and it's a loose leaf tea. And I actually, for Christmas, my mom got me a little loose leaf tea holder um, that's just like stainless steel that hooks on the side of your cup, and it's like in the little mesh ball. Um, because we had one, but I wanted two, so me and Tyler could, well, anyway. So, excited about that, and I, Red tea is new to me. I've tried a few from these boxes. I'm introduced to all kinds of teas I didn't even know about. So I'm excited to try a loose red tea. I've never tried that. The next one I'm seeing is this Phenom or Finum 40 cup size filters. Shut your mouth. <gasps> no way. They're like these filters that, and it comes with one filter stick. Okay, so it looks like you put the tea in there and then you put the stick across so it doesn't, you know what I'm saying. I'm sure the picture explains it all. That is so cool. It's funny that I was just talking about the mesh thing when I could use these as well. I am so excited to try that. How cool. So that is pretty, and it looks like they sell them in way bigger, like you can get a hundred tea filters. Yeah, that's awesome. And the fact that there's 40 in there, that's awesome. Okay, the next thing, it says peppermint hand and body lotion. It's like a little smaller size by Mountain Essentials, made in Fair Play, Colorado. A luxurious blend of natural oils and butters. Apply to hand and body as needed for soft, hydrated skin. What I love is there's not many ingredients. It just has water, coconut oil, almond oil, almond butter, wax, stearic acid, and essential oil. Ooh. Oh. That has the most delicate peppermint scent. Sometimes peppermint scents can be so overpowering, but... I don't know if it's like the almond oil mixed in with it, but it almost is like settled down. It smells so nice. This would be nice to keep on my desk at work. That is so nice. Okay, and the last, oh, and then there's, oh, there were like little, ooh, it's everywhere, little snowflake confetti all over that. Um, oh, this is the Mountain Essentials, like info about their soaps and stuff. Um, so the next thing, and the last thing in this thing is wrapped. I just said thing so many times. I can get it open. oranges though. What is this? Green tea, tea candy. So this one is like a little, it says green tea latte. Is that a chocolate? Ooh, milk chocolate. These tea candies, I'm so intrigued by. Yeah, the rest are chocolates, but there's a few of these tea candies. I'm gonna open one. So green tea latte. This better be good. It just looks like a hard candy. Yeah. I mean, it's good. It just, it actually tastes like green tea. It, it, I guess it's just freaking me out. It's like in, I don't know if I like it. It's like in Willy Wonka when they have the, yeah, mm -mm. can't do it. It's too much like green tea. You know what I mean? Like, I like green tea, but not in candy form. <laughs> Sorry. Those chocolates, I will eat though. So that's good. And I might pass the tea candies on to, I don't know who, but. It's like in Willy Wonka where they have the um, things that they're eating and that it can taste like a roast beef dinner and like everything, but it's just like a piece of gum or whatever it was. Always freaked me out. The thought of that, I'm like, ugh, that would be terrible. The next thing I have to admit, I already opened because I knew what was inside of it and I just couldn't wait. This is the Star Looks, <laughs> this is the Star Looks box and 
it's for December and they had mentioned in the November one on the card that the next one would have a palette in it and they did that last year too and I liked that palette it was the New Year's Eve palette I liked it I didn't love it but I did like it and there were some colors I used a lot in that palette this one is even better now they say that these palettes are a $99 value, but I don't know anyone in their right mind that would pay $100 for this palette. For, let me rephrase, for really any palette, but so, you know, it is what it is, but regardless, this box is not $100, so if you're interested in info, there's a link below. This, the palette is called Mermaid, and it's their ultimate satin, I guess, formula. If I can open it. Why can't I? Is this real? Well, here's the palette. It's so beautiful. These colors on the top are gorgeous. I mean, it's all so beautiful and it looks beautiful together. I cannot open this. I'm not kidding. And I know I've already opened it because I've already used it. What in the heck? I'm not kidding when I say I can't open this. I'm, I'm Now I'm getting mad because I can't freaking open it. No. I got it open. Are you kidding me? Anyway, I'm like never shutting this again. Look at these colors. It is so flippin' gorgeous. I love that it's got all these neutrals and then kind of mid and then these beautiful blues and greens. Mermaid's a really good um, name for this palette. And I think these will be pretty just year round. There's plenty of colors in there. Like these are beautiful fall shades. These would just be fun accent colors and these are good year round. So I just love them. They're very, let me swatch a few for you guys. They're very, very uh, beautiful and buttery. It reminds me of the swatches I've seen of ColourPop. I don't own any ColourPop, but it reminds me of the swatches I've seen of those. They're, I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. They swatch beautifully too. I feel like their shadows have gotten even better than the last palette I had, so kudos to them for improving their formula. That's really be beautiful. So the last subscription box I'm going to open in this video is the Amor Naturals box, and this um, is sent to me for free. I don't know if I mentioned the star looks one. They're all the, all of these three are sent to me for free um, The Amore Naturals is like a soap and body care box and it says this is cute I love when there's like a note have a wonderful holiday season and may the new year make all your dreams and wishes come true um, Okay, this picture is just cute look at the little nutcracker there. I just love that so it's got this little Oh my gosh, they've never done this before. So on the, I had to rip it off, on the tissue paper, this little card was stuck on there and it says, freshly made and it was stamped November 30th, 2014. Please use by, let me peel it off, um, no, uh, June 30th, 2015. So there are expiration dates, which that is so cool how fresh these are. That is really cool. And it gives all this care um, instructions for these products. So let's dig right in. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. So the first thing I'm seeing is this Amour Nutcracker Hand Poured Soy Wax Candle. And it's got all these little nutcrackers around it. That is so cute. Oh, it smells like spice, but I wish I could pinpoint. It's like spice, but a different, it's not like the sweet cinnamon type spice you're used to smelling. It's like got a little bit of musk added to it. That smells really good. And it's got the wood wick, which is pretty cool. So definitely going to be using that. Um... I'm seeing a scrub. Ooh, this is a coffee scrub. Hot cocoa espresso is the scent. Oh, it's sealed. Huh. Oh, you can smell it. It definitely, it definitely has that, um, gosh, it looks like there's actually coffee in there. Um, but it, it smells like that fake chocolate smell, which I don't hate, but I don't love. But uh, the scrub looks really, really thick and kind of awesome. All right, this is the, oh, the lid came off. A more vanilla peppermint. And is, is this the little lip things? I've gotten these before. I really liked them. Yeah, that smells like mostly like peppermint. Yeah, that's pretty good. Next thing, shea butter cream, almond coconut. Ooh. Oh yes. Oh yes. It has that wonderful almond oil smell to it, which is I think that is my favorite smell. I always say I think, but I'm almost positive that is. Oh, it smells so good. And you can just see it looks like thick. Oh, it is thick. Oh, yeah. Like a thick, thick, thick hand cream. Oh, my gosh. 
that's probably going to be on my bedside back there because that would be great for like my dry hands right now. Okay, the next thing is this Amore Pop the Bubbly Handmade Artisan Soap. It's got organic champagne, raw shea butter, and organic grapeseed. It kind of smells like champagne. Now, I'm not a big fan of bar soap, which is always a bummer because these are so cool. I feel like I should use them more often. So maybe I'll try with this one because this is the first one I've smelled that I'm just so intrigued that it smells like champagne. It smells really, really good. <laughs> I love me some champagne. What is this? <gasps> Yes! This is what I've been hoping to receive in this box. I wish they had like a box filled with just these. This is the Spa Bubble Bar. And look at how beautiful. There's like this iridescent shimmer to it. And I'm not, I don't, I, let me rephrase. I've only tried one Lush product I think ever and it was a bubble bar and I loved it. But I don't like spending the money on it. But I would be willing to spend money on a box that came with a bunch of different bubble bars because it's such a luxurious thing. You can always re-gift them and keep some for yourself or you can split it up and do a ton of different gifts, save them for Christmas, I mean whatever. But these are so cool and people, people spend money on bubble bars. It is crazy. So I am so flippin' excited to use this and have a glass of wine and just, oh yes. So very, 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 very excited about that. That and the candle I think are my two favorites there. So that was all for part two. If you're interested in part three or if you haven't seen part one, I will link them both below. Part one was um, like Bath and Body Works stuff bunch of skincare stuff that's really cheap from Vitacost and some Forever 21 stuff. And part three will be a bunch of makeup, just a ton of makeup and hair products. So if you're interested in that huge haul, that is coming up next. So if you enjoyed, please subscribe and I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye. Coupon, which that happens every time I go inside a Bath and Body Works. I'm like, why don't I have, and you know you already got them in the mail and I know they're just sitting like on the counter in the kitchen. And I'm like, why don't I ever have it with me when I actually need it? But um, anyway, so I didn't have my coupon, so I'm trying to look online, but of course I'm in the middle of a mall and you get no reception, I'm like Ugh. So regardless, I still spent some stuff, spent some money because I wanted this stuff. So the first thing I got was this Vanilla Bean Noel um, bubble bath.